Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is our server edition of LZH Project and today we are going to cover Squid uh, proxy server. Uh, Squid is a web proxy server and it's one of the most popular, most famous uh, proxy server in Linux's. We can do a lot of things with Squid such as website caching uh, to make our web access fast uh, track and block uh, website usage, internet usage. We can limit internet access. We can password protect our internet usage, our internet websites. And we can do tons of st uh, stuff with Squid. And uh, guys, I just want to tell you that these servers are uh, very basic. Uh, basically what I'm trying to explain here is how they are used it's a very very basic explanation you can just uh, google if you need more information you can just uh, google and search over the internet my main idea is to provide you the basic information and the basic usage and then uh, you can you have whole sky to conquer like the main thing is like i cannot uh, teach you guys in such short videos that how you can master these uh, servers it's it's kind of impossible so but I'll try my best so at least you have the basic understanding so let's start so to install squid uh, in okay so what we are going to cover in this uh, video uh, we will see how to install squid in CentOS 7 and how we can configure it for basic usage how can, how we can block websites using squid how we can block or password protect users so that they require a, a user a valid username and a login oh sorry a valid a very a valid login and a password to access the website and also how we can check uh, logs for squid server so let's start to check if squid is already installed or not, we'll use rpm query as squid and it reveals we don't have it. So in CentOS 7, we'll use yum y install squid. Okay, so let it install and I'll just pause the video. Okay, installation is complete and we can always rpm query all squid and to confirm it so squid is installed okay so by default basic uh, configuration files of squid are in etc squid directory okay and the main configuration file is squid.conf so but before editing it i will always recommend you to copy the squid file with something so in case you mess up something you can always revert back to the original Okay, so let's use this editor. Uh, I'm using VI. You can use Nano or any other editor of your choice. Okay, so this is a very simple and very small squid configuration file as compared to the earlier uh, earlier editions of squid. So in this re uh, recommended minimum configuration, you can see you have this ACL local net source and class A, class B, class C. What I'm going to use, use uh, do is, I'm just going to comment all of them. You can delete them, but, okay. And because my network is 192.168.1.0, I'll just make this, I'll just use this one. 1.0 make it 24 something okay and just let me show you why if I take IP ADDR show you can see I have 192.168.1.2 IP address so my network is 1.0 and my subnet mask is 24 but this is showing 32 because it's a single host so Let's go back to the configuration file and over here 
you can see that that's why I chose 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and the ACL this is the access control list and it's defined local net you can change it to anything over here I'll use LZH dash server let's say or LZH squid dash server you can use anything let's use LZH squid yeah okay now this ACL is defined here but how it's implemented it's you need to just scroll down but on the way let me explain you these things these are safe ports and 443 for SSL you can you know uh, 80 is HTTP it's they're already defined here so you can just take a look so you don't want these ports to be blocked okay so you just you can see here that HTTP access deny not safe ports it means not to deny these safe ports so this exclamation mark is not okay scroll down scroll down scroll down and over here where you see insert your own rules you can see we have this http access allow local net but instead of local net we have chosen lzh dash squid okay but the good practice is let me show you let me copy this okay the good practice is to comment out the line which was before local okay. so at least you know that uh, what changes you have made and what were the, uh, the actual changes and you can always write here or add one more line like change by so or anything okay and over here uh, local host access is allowed okay here you can change the port number 312 is by default squid sport uh, 3128 you can change it to 8080 or whatever your port is port you want to change all right but I'll just go with the default okay at the moment squid will work with this minimum confirmation uh, with this minimum configuration and we can check by writing and quitting okay let's enable our squid server so uh, the next reboot will not disable it system ctl enable squid will create a symbolic link okay and let's start our squid server with system ctl start squid and a status of will reveal that it's active and it's running so we have just started squid and it's working and to confirm that it's working we can use ss-antlup grab squid you can see it's listening and on 3128 so that this means it's working right now we can okay how to check if it's working in our web browser so let's open a web browser okay so let's uh, we are in this CentOS 5 we can check its release it's ETC Red Hat release actually and this we can see it's CentOS 5 okay and we can ping 192.168.1.2 which is our squid server okay so let's now use that proxy so to use that proxy I need to uh, first open a web page a web browser sorry and okay then 
please bear with me it's a virtual box so it makes mis uh, problems with this uh, controls okay so what we need to do is we need to go to our file it's an old Firefox okay go to edit click on preferences general go to connection settings and then you click on manual proxy configuration and you type 192.168.1.2 port is 3128 okay use this connection for all the settings and just remove this click OK close okay to check if this proxy is working let's try to browse some website let's go to Google okay waiting let's see what it will bring okay you know that why it's not working because we need to allow firewall to enable 3128 port so let me pause the video and I'll just uh, bring up that other server and we need to enable uh, port 3128 to pass through firewall so that uh, our server can be accessed so to enable it uh, firewall cm dash cmd and add dash port which is equal to 3128 and it's a TCP press enter and it's already enabled but that's how you can enable it okay and that's it let's go back to that machine and try to browse this time okay Google or let's say it pings.com over here you can see that it's it pings is loaded so the main thing is how we can check from logs that uh, the website was successful and how to check squid log uh, let me go back to server 2 okay I'm back in server 2 and over here we can just tail so dash f var log squid so the squid logs are basically in var log squid access dot log so squids directory it's access dot log and over here you can see that uh, 192.168.1.175 uh, tried to access uh, it pings.com or tcp underscore miss slash 200 uh, is telling that it was successful um, in our second part uh, we will try to block websites using squid and we will use password authentication for internet usage thank you for watching please do subscribe